you can like music bees make, but not appreciate a sting. Until we work our way down and we get all of the honey cone out of there and locate the queen, we can't be finished. Beekeepers lament, and it's hard to find because the queen is always being thrown around inside the hive. Because without catching the queen, she's going to continue to lay eggs. Between one and 2,000 eggs a day. So during the day, the bees are out foraging and pollinating. Beekeepers think more than 100 pounds of pure honey is in this hive. The beekeepers will take a frame such as this one, then they'll pop out the honeycomb, the real bee honeycomb, and insert it right in here and put it in a hive in another location. We actually put the honeycomb right into the frames because this is their house. Plenty of the 50 to 100,000 bees inside this outside wall do get active. As soon as they turn on the tanning beds, the bees start swarming the, the tanning room. The hive runs from the rooftop to the sidewalk inside the corner of this sheer professional salon. We've had to not be able to take people because they keep invading the whole front and that room. As the vacuum noise drones on, bees are sucked up before leaving and upon returning to the hive. So that'll be the pattern for a few days until we can cut through all of this and know they're all gone. Now that the honeycomb has been opened, bees in a three mile radius are getting free honey until the hive is moved, which is why it's best to avoid being around bees on the move. In Frederick, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.